Previously on Big Brother, eight house guests banded together to send Brian packing. You have to put Brian up. By a vote of nine to one, Brian, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. At the head of household competition, Jesse took control. Congratulations, Jesse. You are the new head of household. And he targeted two of Brian's allies. I've nominated you, Steve, as well as you, Dan. With his back against the wall, Dan made Jesse an offer. If I can survive this week and I'm in a position of power on HOH, you have nothing to worry about. And he changed his strategy. Everybody's more threatened by Steve. Right, yeah, they should be. I, I suck. Hoping to convince everyone he was a weak player. Uh, right now, I'm a weak player in this game. Yeah, that's what you need to Through, say. From alignment and from competition. Meanwhile, a new alliance splintered from the group. Me, Jesse, you, and Michelle. I think that we can be strong together. I agree with that. At the veto competition, Dan continued his strategy. Coming in this competition, I need to continue to build a weak persona in this house. So I need to throw the competition, risk a lot, but gain a lot. And Michelle kept the power in the hands of her new alliance. When Jerry felt insulted by Libra. After the food competition, she goes, we have two older people on our team. He went on the offensive. I don't go behind anybody. Back and come to talking about. I'm telling you now. I did not say that. Yes, Boy, you did. No, I did not. Don't you scream? Don't you come in here screaming at me. I am. And Rennie followed suit. I don't give a what he says. I'm telling you that what you said. You I said, said we had the two older people on the team. Next time we have a competition, balance it. What do you think that implies? Hoping to save himself, Stephen tried to turn the house against Libra. Everyone is ready to get Libra out because she is causing so much drama. But at the veto meeting, Michelle chose to play it safe. I have decided that I am not going to use the power of veto. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house, Dan or Steven? And who will become the next head of household? Find out tonight, live on Big Brother 10. Welcome to Big Brother 10. It's day 16 inside the Big Brother house, and the ghost of Brian continues to linger. Jesse, the professional bodybuilder from Rudd, Iowa, wasted no time flexing his muscles as HOH, putting aside his dislike for Rennie in order to target two of Brian's friends. Now, Dan, the Catholic high school teacher from Michigan, and Steven, the champion of the gay rodeo circuit from Texas, find themselves on the chopping block. We'll find out who's going home shortly. But first, Dan's strategy is to lay low and let Steven make all the noise and sink himself. But even the quietest mouse can't escape the eyes of the cat. Well, I have decided that I am not going to use the power of veto for purposes that I feel as though the nominations remain the same, and it would be just foolish of me to use it. And I hope you both understand that. That's really all I have to say. This veto meeting is adjourned. When Michelle said she was not gonna use the power of veto, I was very elated at this point, my plan to make sure that everyone thinks I'm a weak player has been very successful. Everyone wants Steven out of the house because he's such a huge physical threat. Me and Dan are both on the block, and he is one of my closest friends. It kind of sucks because if I convince people to vote uh, him out, then I'm kind of stabbing him in the back. 
after I realized that Steven wasn't coming off the block. I have to keep my word to Libra, Ollie, and April. I wish I would have never made that alliance, but I'm gonna be made a target if I try to do anything. The eight of us that got Brian out of the house, we're now coming together to get the floaters out of the house. Jerry, Rennie, Dan, and Steven. Hopefully Steven will be gone this week and Jerry or Dan next week. I tried like hell to get someone else in our place. I tried to put Libra. I was just trying to do whatever I could do. I was in a moment of desperation. Because yeah. Dan, I don't want you to go home either. I know that's a hard part. Now it's an official, you know what I mean? One of us is yeah. going home. I didn't want you to, you know? And I was trying to find a way to just keep both of us off there. Now the only thing I can do is try and keep myself here, which means you go home. Yeah. I respect the fact he's trying to stay alive, but the more desperate Steven gets in campaigning, the more people that are gonna want him out of the house. We're battling against each other. Of course I would rather stay, but um, I'm gonna be very sad to see you go if it's you. And vice versa. If I'm the one that y'all want out over Dan, right. then I understand that. Well, the I have to, you know, I have to fight for myself sure, and I have to come out and say, you know, if, if there's one against the other, who would you rather have out? I mean, I don't, I don't have any problems with you at all, Steven. If, if you as a person, man, I, I want you around as long as possible. I have nothing against you at all, Steven, either. Actually, I feel like you get along pretty good. I feel like I'm getting a raw deal and now I'm trying to do sure. anything possible to save myself. I hate to relay this back to Brian's situation, but this is where it all started and that's where everyone really drew their line. It's difficult for me because I'm not ready to go home. I just feel like I'm just under this cloud of Brian that just won't go away. If you look at the people that are on the block right now, who voted for Brian and who didn't. I guess I don't understand why, and I hate to even say anything because I like Dan so much. I don't understand why you think Dan he's will much, be on your side. Right. Why is he's much? Why he's any different than I me? Mean, I think that you're just seen you're just as a better competitor. A competitor. It has absolutely nothing to do with. Don't you think as a better competitor, I would make a better ally? I may be a better competitor, but if someone asks me to be an ally, if someone wants me on their side, that better competitor is only going to benefit you. And all I'm trying to do is prove to y'all that. If you would give me a chance, right. I could be on your side. I believe in you. And I'm going to stay on your side if you ask me. So let me present this to you. If, if I offered myself to you, unbeknownst to the rest of the house. I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's tough in this game. I'm offering it to you. You know, is Dan going to offer you that? All right. Thanks. That's all. It's not, a, it's not a, a huge secret that we all like Steven. I like Steven. We, I, I want him around. Oh. Hey, honey. Hi. hi. Shelly, what up? Nothing. I just wanted to grab one of these. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, that's you, okay. can, you can chill if you want. No. But go ahead. Shut that door. You want me to shut it? Because first of all, that one right there. Oh. Yeah. We all know. They all, everybody knows. All right, Jesse, all right. That's why you didn't put her up yeah. on the block. Yeah, because yeah. she's, she's got some kind she of a deal. Would. There's no way that you can't know who's with who now. Like, mm. there's no way, because it's very divided around here. So they're going to take us down if yeah. they get the chance. You think them four? Yes. Yeah. I feel like they've seen they're us trying fight. us against each other. Ollie, we feel like, like they're going to try to pick us off one by one. And I'm not competing for Steven. Right, 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 right. But Dan's going to come after us. Mm. Well, if that's the case. We need to grab one of these floaters. Mm-hmm. I feel, I mean, Steve made some good points. Listen, our backs are against the wall. That's all we have. Okay. Come in. Sorry. Here is the bathroom, and I'll see you guys. 
I'm not going to go ask people for their phone I because I don't want to stir things up. Right. But if you think there's something that, and obviously I, it won't come from either of you, mm -hmm. but if there's something you think I need to know to calm mm -hmm. the storm, let me know, and then I'll start. Other than that, I'm not going to do anything. You so, have my word that I'm not voting for you, so. Because, I mean, that should. That I'm not just no. blowing smoke up. Because so, when I yeah. say something, I do it. Yeah. I already told you how much I respect you for sure. what you've done. So you know where I stand with you. I trust you guys saying that I sh I'm not the target this week, so I'm not gonna I'm right. not gonna go campaign for exactly. because I trust you guys. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if there's something I need to know, right. please let me know yeah. so I can try to do Dan. Sure, sure. big man. So you look good, man. man. to have to be nice to those two. I know that you might not like them or whatever, and like subconsciously, if you don't like somebody, they're gonna be able to tell. I mean, I think I've been doing a pretty good job though. I haven't yelled at anybody. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta not throw a red flag up of our alliance, because that's what's gonna make our alliance stronger when we surprise them and be like, oh, by the way, then we have a huge upper hand. Ooh. You know, I think Dan's a really, a really good guy. The closer we keep him to us, the better off it's gonna be. I don't think we're even gonna have an issue. Cross our fingers. These people are crazy. Once it's eight of us, it's gonna be who gets lucky to hit. Somebody's gotta throw the first stone, nobody wants to do it yet. It would be, it would be. I keep saying we need to get him out before anybody. I believe that Steven could become completely loyal to us. The group consensus is to get rid of him. So it would definitely be like throwing the first stone at the other alliance if we voted to keep Steven. As soon as somebody takes that first move, it's on. It'd be instantly crazy in here. Coming up, how has the battle between Jesse and Rennie extended to their families? And later, the live vote and eviction. Who will be going home tonight? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother 10. We have some questions to ask the house guests, including some great ones given to me by our live audience right here. Let's talk to the house guests. Hello, house guests. Hi, Julie. Jerry, you get the first question of the night. All right. <laughs> the fact that you and Rennie were on the same team during the food competition did not go unnoticed. Given this, do you feel your housemates respect you as a competitor? I uh, would like to think they do uh, respect me as a competitor. I think I can keep up with them. I think I worked as hard as they did and I'm gonna let it up to them whether they respected me or not. I feel I earned it, and I think they owe it to me. There you go. Libra. Hi, Julie. Hi there. As a fellow competitor, in your opinion, does age make a difference in this game? Well, I'm sure that uh, you probably saw some activity between Jerry and myself regarding that exact question. Um, 
We also had a gender situation as well. So I think that when you're looking at competi competing in the competitions, just making it an even type of thing would, would be great, giving everyone a chance. Uh, slop for two weeks is no fun. So is that your way of saying age does? No, it's not. I think it's a couple, it's a, it's a, a several, um, several things, variables that, that drive how you play out in a competition. Okay. Let's change the topic. I sense there's love in the air in the Big Brother house. Uh. <laughs> April. Yes, Julie? <laughs> what is it about Ollie that first attracted you to him? Wow. Yeah. Um, well, Julie, Ollie's a great guy. He really is. Um, he's a sweetheart, and he's really kind, and he's, he's easy to talk to in the house. I mean, this house can really make you go crazy a little bit, and it's nice when you have someone that you can conversate with and on an intellectual level. So. Aw. Ollie. Hey, Julie, how you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> Guess what? You get the question from our live audience. Ooh. Now, it is no secret, Ollie, that you come from a conservative religious family. Your father's a pastor. You don't curse. You've never had a sip of alcohol in your life. But you are having what we call a showmance. And our audience wants to know, what do you think your dad would say? Uh, well, I think my pops is uh, all in favor of me finding someone who I can confide in, someone who I enjoy hanging around with. So I don't think my pops would have a problem with that. Uh, I think the thing that he would be concerned with uh, if I were to disrespect a young lady, or if it's April or anyone in the house, uh, I think that's the only problem he would have. But in terms of having a showmance, a romance, I think my dad's giving me a round of applause right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, house guests. I'll Thank be back you. to talk with you again later. Thanks, Thanks Julie. Julie. Thanks, Julie. Since their first night together, Jesse and Rennie have had it out for each other. They've both asked for respect but refused to give it. What do Jesse's parents and Rennie's family say about this battle of the ages? Seriously, I think I'm gonna get committed. No, really. <laughs> I got the glasses just in case we wouldn't get a laugh. Do you do this at home? You have to do it at home. My wife, Rennie, yeah, she's a very special person. She's born and raised in New Orleans. She has her own style. Mom is certainly the life of the party. Okay, man. You, you want to play games? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Here are some of her wigs, hats, some boas. Snow bunny. Uh, <laughs> she's always been an entertainer, performer. performer. She loves to perform anything. My mom was a Saints dancer in 1977. She was one of the Top three prettiest girls on the team, but they'd only show my mom from here up. Yeah, all boobs. All boobs. I go. can't believe you acted like that. Acted like what? Come on. In the beginning, people really didn't know how to take her personality. I mean, I guess because they're younger, they don't. I don't. I don't know. I just asked you to say what you wanted to say, and now you're like, what? And then I start walking away, and now you're like, oh, now you're walking away. The way Jesse's been talking, I, I don't think he was brought up to respect elders. I mean, he is acting like a punk. You, you just sit there and think about it. Jesse was a little guy growing up. He was a runt, basically. He was picked on. He was always small as a child. He was small framed and he just blossomed. Oh, Lord, you don't Dude. Get oh, my word. Oh, Dude, my look at those abs. What people don't know about Jesse is the goodness. Look at those abs. That's what I'm looking at. Jesse is a very lovable guy. It takes a little while to get to know him. Jesse, remember you said I woke you up? It would have been all resolved, but like you didn't, it took you a day and a half to apologize. In that situation with Rennie, she exploited him and wanted to um, make him the bad guy. I said, I'm sorry, and now you're saying otherwise. My mom did apologize, and he's just straight up lying. He's a weasel. He's a weasel. Jesse isn't a weasel. He's a weasel. My son's a good guy. He's a prima donna. No problem. Mm -mm, honey, that's a bunch of meat. When you get to the real part of the game of Big Brother, the mental side and psychological side, I think he's ridiculous. Ooh, I want to see the butt Jesse, Jesse. I think Jesse lets power go to his head. But I think you can be a world-class bodybuilder and have smarts and be the governor of California. <laughs> see, this is my dinner. Yum, yum. 
Still ahead, the live vote and eviction. Dan or Stephen, who will be walking out of the Big Brother house tonight? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother 10. Let's talk with Jesse, the current head of household who's alone in the HOH bedroom. Hi, Jesse. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. All your housemates are in the living room. They <clears throat> cannot hear you, so speak your mind, okay? Okay. You seem to volunteer quite often to your housemates that they consider you, quote, a body without a brain. What makes you think that? Say, say that again? You, you often tell your housemates that they think of you as just a body, without a brain. Um, what, what makes you think that your house makes think this of you? Just because of my age, apparently I'm the youngest person in here, so I'm 22. Uh, I've actually gone through a lot in my life, but um, they, most people just stereotypically just think everybody that has muscle, you know, all they can do is work out, but you know, the reasoning for when I started working out was for good pur purposes. I didn't want to start doing, you know, you know, alcohol-related stuff into college, so I went and mm -hmm. just worked out. Well, good for you. And, and it's paid off. Look, mm -hmm. at, look at you, right? Yeah. Well, you have won a physical competition and a mental one, all great. So what do you consider your biggest weakness? Um, my biggest weakness right now is just actually confiding in Michelle and then people just grouping us two as a pair, I think is the only downfall that I have right now. If you look at it, I mean, I went out on a limb and showed my supposed maturity level by not putting up Rennie. So if that comes back and bites me, that'll be the only thing that I'll kind of regret, to be honest with you. Thanks, Jesse. You Thank can you. go downstairs to the living room and All rejoin right. your housemates. Thank you. Sure. It is time to find out who will be walking out of the house tonight. Will it be Dan, the Catholic high school teacher from Michigan, or Steven, the champion of the gay rodeo circuit from Texas? Let's return to the living room and talk with the two nominees. Dan, Stephen, in just a few moments, your housemates will cast their votes to evict live. But before they do, you have one last chance to plead your case. Dan, you're first. All right, first thing I'd like to say, Mrs. Chen, you look beautiful tonight. Um, <laughs> second thing, I think it's, it's no secret that I started off this game on the wrong foot. Um, but lucky for, for me, I've had a second chance to kind of prove myself. I've had a lot of fun this week between the late night stories, the slip and slide, and of course, the Big Brother variety show. I think we've all had a blast. <laughs> um, I'd love to continue on and do that. However, um, if you guys feel you need to get me out of here, I understand, um, because then I'll be going home to a girlfriend that I love very much. But at this point, I'm happy to be here, and I'd, I'd love to continue to stay, in, and I thank you all. Thanks, Dan. Steven, it's your turn. Um, I would just like to say that um, at the beginning when we moved in, um, I made a choice. I immediately regret that decision. <laughs> um, but looking back on what I've learned in this house, I've learned some amazing things. You know, for example, did you know it takes several thousand volts of electricity to make the gas in a neon light glow? <laughs> um, I also learned that um, derriere is the hardest porno password ever. <laughs> and it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> So as, as I look back, I just have to ask myself, what would Willie do? And I would like to tell you all one last message. Suck it, bitches. <laughs> Whoa. Let's see how far that gets you, Stephen. Thank you both. All right, it is time for the live voting to begin. Jesse, as the current HOH, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. One at a time, the rest of you will enter the diary room and cast your vote. Michelle. You're first. <laughs> Michelle vowed to Dan that she would not vote him out. Will she keep her word? Hello, Michelle. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Julie. Memphis is close with Jesse and Michelle and sees Dan as a potential ally. Hello, Memphis. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I would like to vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, Memphis. Thanks. Angie was allies with both of tonight's nominees. This should be a difficult decision for her. Hello, Angie. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. 
Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Julie. Jerry doesn't appear to be aligned with either side of the house. How will he vote? Hello, Jerry. Hi. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, Jerry. The vote is zero to evict Dan and four to evict Stephen. But the other half of the House has yet to vote. Will they make the move to keep Stephen and divide the House? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother 10. The House guests are voting live. So far, it's four votes to zero in favor of evicting Stephen. Let's continue the live vote. Libra knows that keeping Stephen will divide the House. Is she ready to drop that bomb? Hello, Libra. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, Libra. It is official with five votes to evict Stephen. Stephen will be the next person to leave the Big Brother house. Let's see how the remaining votes fall. Hi, April. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, April. Thank you. As April votes, will her boyfriend follow? Hello, Ali. Julie, mama. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you. Last week, Rennie's sole vote to be evicted came from Dan. Will she return the favor? Hello, Rennie. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I love you, darling, but I have to evict you, Stephen. Thank you, Rennie. Keisha has been working hard to protect her friend Stephen. Will she stay loyal to him? Hello, Keisha. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Stephen. Thank you, Keisha. All the votes are in. Let's give the news to the House guests. House guests, just a reminder, when I revealed the vote, the evicted House guests will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of nine to zero, Stephen, you are evicted from the Big Brother House. No, he said, suck it, bitches. Yeah. That's an IQ is cool up until he said that. There's no reason. Steven, you are a rodeo champion. What's more difficult, riding a bull or playing this game? This game. <laughs> Why? Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, a bull only lasts eight seconds. 
<laughs> this felt like eight years. <laughs> so you sound like you're glad to be out. Uh, there is a part of me that's very glad to be out. Um, it's a very hard game. You, you, you really, it stresses you out a lot. There's a lot that goes on. Um, it's really hard for me to be apart from my friends and family back home, especially there's someone that um, I really want to go home and see. Someone special? Yes, yeah, someone very special. Well, Stephen, in the event that you were the one evicted tonight, your housemates taped some goodbye messages. Shall we listen? Yes, please. Stephen, I absolutely love you to death. I'm so sorry for the way that everything happened. It's so hard. You're one of the closest people to me in here, and I don't want you to leave. I wanted to apologize to you as a friend that I was unable to help you in staying in the house. You're such a trustworthy and loyal person that it's gonna be hard to be without that for the rest of the game. I wanted to tell you, darling, you are a beautiful young man. You're simply magic, darling. It was great working out with you. I'm glad that you actually know how hard I've worked at what I've done, and you have the potential to take your physique somewhere that you know you want it, and now I hope that you know that your goals are within reach uh, just by me trying to lead by example. Steven, it shouldn't have worked out this way. You know I haven't been around a lot of people that were gay, and I was very judgmental, and you definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things. I just wanna let you know I consider you a true friend, and, and I don't think of you as, as gay Steven. Steven, I thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. I'm gonna talk more with Steven tomorrow morning on The Early Show on CBS. And if you have a question for Steven, you can ask him live tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific on House Calls, the Big Brother talk show at CBS.com. Coming up, the head of household competition, who will claim the most powerful position in the house? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother 10. In preparation for this week's head of household competition, the house guests got a little spaced out. Alien. A green Literally alien. Literally like, staring at me as I'm blow drying my hair. Dude, my I just killed my arms though. Yeah. Oh my god. Whoa. Did you see that? Uh-oh. -uh. Dude. Oh, it's like an alien head. Dude. scare me. I've seen aliens on the streets of New Orleans, believe me. He's screaming. I saw it! You okay. saw it. Where? I swear, come see! You see a gun? E.T. 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 I told where? you. He was there! With a big head. His eyes are this big. Oh my god. I'm not even looking in the mirror now because I'm just, I don't even want to look in there. This big alien like came across. Big black eyes. Please come back again. Can you see in there until it pops up and sticks his face up against there? You won't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to all the cupcakes? I don't know. Those Who was playing with the decorations? Before. House guests, the power is up for grabs. Jesse, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete. As you may or may not have noticed, some items have gone missing from your house. Tonight, 
Big Brother is going out of this world with a competition we call Alien Abduction. And here's how it works. Two at a time, you will face off at the podium and answer questions about the things that the aliens abducted from the Big Brother house. The answer to each question will be one of the following. Kitchen, living room, spa, bathroom, or not missing. If you buzz in first, you must answer the question. Answer correctly and you stay in the game and your opponent is eliminated. You will then choose the next two house guests who will face off. Answer incorrectly and you will be eliminated. If no one buzzes in, you will both be eliminated unless you're the final two. The last person standing will be the new head of household. Does everyone understand these rules? Yes, yes. yes. Great. Earlier today, the first two names were chosen at random, April and Dan. The two of you are up first, so let's begin. First question. There is not a life form in the universe that can resist this temptation. That's why this room is missing two plastic cupcakes. Dan. Kitchen. That is correct. Sorry, April, step down. You've been eliminated. Dan, pick the next two to face off. Um, since they're right here, Rennie and Libra. All right, ladies, step up. Question two. After traveling millions of light years without a hot shower, it's no wonder hot water is missing from this room. Rennie. Bathroom. Incorrect. It is kitchen. Sorry, Rennie, step down. You've been eliminated. Libra, pick the next two to face off. Um, Memphis and Angie. Memphis and Angie, step up. Question three. All of the aliens longed for their home galaxy after seeing this in the house. Which room is missing a silver star? Memphis. Living room. Correct. Step down, Angie, you're out. Memphis, pick the next two to face off. Ali and Jerry. All right, guys, step on up. Question four. For some aliens, plant life is like family. In which room do they think they had grabbed their grandfather, but actually took a potted plant? Jerry. That'd be the living room. That is incorrect. It is spa. Sorry, Jerry, you're out. Ali, pick the next two. I'm going with, uh... Michelle and uh, Keisha. All right, ladies, step up. <clears throat> Question five. There are many extraterrestrial fans of Big Brother, but there is one less fan in this room. Michelle. Not missing. That is incorrect, it's living room. Step down, Michelle. Keisha, pick the next two to face off. Libra and Dan. All right, Libra and Dan, step up. Question six. Aliens have been chased off farms for centuries. It's no surprise this room is missing a pitchfork. Libra. Bathroom. Correct, Dan, step down. Libra, pick the next two to face off. Um, Memphis and Keisha. All right, Memphis and Keisha. Question seven. Even aliens can find love over a romantic dinner, so it's not surprising that this room is missing a candlestick. Keisha. Not missing. Correct, Memphis step down. All right, that means Ali and Libra step up to face off. Question eight. Aliens are famous for their green thumbs, so it's no wonder that this room is missing a shovel. Libra. Bathroom. Correct. Ollie, step down. So Keisha and Libra will face off. One of you two ladies is about to become the new head of household. Even aliens want to know which way the wind blows. That's why this room is missing a weather vane. Libra. Living room. 
not missing incorrect. Congratulations, Keisha. You're the new head of household. Jesse, pass on the key to the HOH bedroom. With Keisha now in power as the new HOA, what is in store for the house? Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's rejoin the house guests. Hi, everybody. Keisha, congratulations. How does it feel to be the new head of household? It feels great. <laughs> You're the first female to make it this year into that bedroom. Well, you, you played a very good competition, so congratulations. Thank you. I have some other questions for some of you house guests from our live audience. And Libra, this one goes to you. Our audience wants to know, what are you going to do if you end up on slop for a third straight week? It's going to get really ugly. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I'm on a liquid diet. I lost 12 pounds. Wow. So I'm probably going to be shooting for 20 if I get on slop again. So. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, people. We will stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a great night, house guests. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you Julie. Who will Keisha nominate for eviction? Find out Sunday at 8, 7 central. Then Tuesday at 9, 8 central. Will the power veto save one of her two nominees? And I'll be back one week from tonight at 8 for the next live eviction. To follow the house guests every move, log on to CBS.com and subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. And don't forget, you can also get an uncensored look at Life in the House on Big Brother After Dark, airing live each night from midnight to 3 a.m. on Showtime 2. For now, let's eavesdrop on the house guests. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Have a great night. Like, oh. I looked around and I'm like, oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Talking about I'm sorry. I'm going to see my girls. I want to see my girls. No, I want to see kids. Yeah. No, no, no. You're dead. Oh my God. I was just like, oh my God. When I looked around, I'm like, it's only us three left. Oh, I'm like, no, I'm not really worried about it. I'm like, oh my God. Either way, I was like, but then I saw three. And I was like, what? Okay, I can do this. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing. And it's so good to have a girl head of household, you know? Yes. Even change colors and stuff.